Hello, welcome back. <coughs> Let's continue with the semiconductor fabrication plant. That's a short one. I just find my mouse. So I find a lot more, but should not uh, think maybe I'll read this Global Foundries next. <coughs> We're not going to open too many because I already have too many. This one is not so long, <coughs> so let's uh, read it and finish. Semiconductor fabrication plant. Global Foundries Fab 1 in Dresden, Germany. The large rectangular house, large clean rooms. Dot external image image icon. Photo of the interior of a clean room of a 300 mm fab run by TSMC. In the microelectronics industry, a semiconductor fabrication plant, commonly called a fab, sometimes foundry, is a factory for semiconductor device fabrication. Dot. One. Fabs require many expensive devices to function. Estimates put the cost of building a new fab over 1 billion US dollars with values as high as 3 dollars 4 billion not being uncommon. TSMC invested 9.3 billion dollars in its fab 15 300 mm wafer manufacturing facility in Taiwan. Dot two. The same company estimations suggest that their future fab might cost $20 billion. Dot. 3. A foundry model emerged in the 1990s. Foundries that produced their own designs were known as Integrated Device Manufacturers IDMs. Companies that farmed manufacturing of their designs to foundries were termed Fable Semiconductor Companies. Those foundries, which did not create their own designs, were called pure play semiconductor foundries. Dot. Four. The central part of a fab is the clean room, an area where the environment is controlled to eliminate all dust, since even a single speck can ruin a micro circuit, which has nanoscale features much smaller than dust particles. The clean room must also be damped against vibration to enable nanometer scale alignment of machines and must be kept within narrow bands of temperature and humidity. Vibration control may be achieved by using deep piles in the clean room's foundation that anchor the clean room to the bedrock, careful selection of the construction site, and forward slash or using vibration dampers. Controlling temperature and humidity is critical for minimizing static electricity. Corona discharge sources can also be used to reduce static electricity. Often, a fab will be constructed in the following manner, from top to bottom the roof, which may contain air handling equipment that draws, purifies and cools outside air, an air plenum for distributing the air to several floor-mounted fan filter units which are also part of the clean room ceiling. The clean room itself, which may or may not have more than one story. 5. A return air plenum. The clean subfab that may contain support equipment for the machines in the clean room such as chemical delivery purification, recycling and destruction systems, and the ground floor, that may contain electrical equipment. Fabs also often have some office space. The clean room is where all fabrication takes place and contains the machinery for integrated circuit production such as steppers and forward slash or scanners for photolithography, in addition to etching, cleaning, doping and dicing machines. All these devices are extremely precise and thus extremely expensive. Prices for most common pieces of equipment for the processing of 300 mm wafers range from $700,000 to upwards of $4,000,000 each with a few pieces of equipment reaching as high as $340 million each, for example EU scanners. A typical fab will have several hundred equipment items. History. Typically, an advance in chip making technology requires a completely new fab to be built. In the past, the equipment to outfit a fab was not very expensive, and there were a huge number of smaller fabs producing chips in small quantities. However, 
the cost of the most up-to-date equipment has since grown to the point where a new fab can cost several billion dollars. Another side effect of the cost has been the challenge to make use of older fabs. For many companies these older fabs are useful for producing designs for unique markets, such as embedded processors, flash memory, and microcontrollers. However, for companies with more limited product lines, it is often best to either rent out the fab, or close it entirely. This is due to the tendency of the cost of upgrading an existing fab to produce devices requiring newer technology to exceed the cost of a completely new fab. There has been a trend to produce ever larger wafers, so each process step is being performed on more and more chips at once. The goal is to spread production costs, chemicals, fab time, over a larger number of saleable chips. It is impossible, or at least impracticable, to retrofit machinery to handle larger wafers. This is not to say that foundries using smaller wafers are necessarily obsolete. Older foundries can be cheaper to operate, have higher yields for simple chips and still be productive. The industry was aiming to move from the state of the art wafer size 300 mm, 12 in to 450 mm by 2018.6. In March 2014, Intel expected 450 mm deployment by 2020.7, but in 2016, corresponding joint search efforts were stopped. 8. Additionally, there is a large push to completely automate the production of semiconductor chips from ginning to end. This is often referred to as the lights out fab concept. The International Semitech Manufacturing Initiative, ISMI, an extension of the U.S. consortium SEMATECH, is sponsoring the 300mm Prime Initiative. An important goal of this initiative is to enable fabs to produce greater quantities of smaller chips as a response to shorter life cycles seen in consumer electronics. The logic is that such a fab can produce smaller lots more easily and can efficiently switch its production to supply chips for a variety of new electronic devices. Another important goal is to reduce the waiting time between processing steps. 9, 10. See also, foundry model for the business aspects of foundries and fabless companies, Claver's law, list of semiconductor fabrication plants, Rock's law, semiconductor consolidation, semiconductor device fabrication for the process of manufacturing devices, notes, Brown, Claire, Linden, Greg. Good. Finish it, let's uh, close and let's uh, have to reboot my computer. But now the <coughs> auto reading stop works, so I will uh, take a short break and reboot my computer so the auto reading works. Then I will uh, read more.